Meet Russia's Air Force One, the Ilyushin IL-96. When it came to selecting the new Russian head of state plane, the government turned to Russian manufacturer Ilyushin to come up with a rival to the United States Air Force One. The aircraft was the Ilyushin IL-96. Why did they choose this plane, and how has Russia fitted it for its head of state? Let's explore. The Russian government's own fleet is as varied as a typical international carrier. To date, it has two Airbus A319s, eight IL-96s, and two Sukhoi Superjets. It previously had access to a fleet of Tu-154s, Tu-204s, Yak-40s, as well as two helicopters. However, only one aircraft in that list has a long range, the IL-96. So far, there are only 15 in service globally, 11 are in Russia, and only four for passenger use in Cuba. The Russian government chose the IL-96-300 as its future diplomatic aircraft at a cost of around $504 million per plane. The passenger version can fly 300 passengers to a range of 11,500 kilometers or 6,209 nautical miles. However, it's likely that the VIP aircraft can fly further thanks to a lighter passenger load and significant fuel tank improvements. As the aircraft is custom assembled for each customer, not mass produced like Airbus or Boeing aircraft, there are minimal spare parts or a second hand market for the type. In Russia, there are four IL 96300s that are dedicated for head of state transport. At least two deploy for every diplomatic trip. Allegedly, when Russian President Vladimir Putin arrives at the airport, all four are fueled up and ready to go, and he selects one seemingly at random. The aircraft's interior is fit for an emperor with a neoclassical design. It features fur rugs throughout with famous Russian tapestries on the walls. Many surface edges are also lined with gold. The plane also comes with a full communication suite and plenty of missile countermeasures. The aircraft also allegedly has an escape pod if the countermeasures don't work. Whenever Putin flies on board, the flight plan is classified, and Russian fighter jets escort the plane even overland Russia. The Russian government has been criticized for such lavish aircraft and having so many of them in the past. While we can't speak for the politics of the situation, we can't help but admire Russia for building long-range jets for its own head of state. What do you think of the IL-96? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.